Hey everybody, yeah, it's uh, <clears throat> Christmas afternoon, mid-afternoon. Uh, finally, after what seems like forever, I think it's been th at least three weeks, if not a month, of no sun. We've got some sun. Uh, temperatures in the 40s. It's a, uh, it's a bit breezy, a bit cool, but uh, not too bad. But uh, it's time for another winter warmer, and uh, I'm gonna do another the other one that I picked up. Uh, last week from uh, Humboldt Brewing Company uh, actually brewed by Firestone Walker I gave the history on the other one uh, Humboldt uh, Firestone Walker bought uh, Humboldt Brewing changed the name to Nectar Ales and now they've been bought by another company and uh, Firestone Walker still brewing it but uh, they changed the name back to Humboldt Stout but uh, or Humboldt Brewing I'm gonna do their Black Xantis Imperial Stout. Um, sounds like it's going to be a might be a good one. Um, if it's anything of the quality of that 500 BC IPA I did, um, it is going to be a good one. Um, from the website, it says seasonal uh, style Imperial Java, Java Stout. Our Imperial Stout is infused with fair trade organic coffee from a local roaster, Joe Bella, and aged for six months in a combination of bourbon. Retired Firestone Union and wine barrels. Black Xantis packs a powerful punch. Hungry? This brew would go great with dessert or as dessert. 11% ABV, 60 IBUs. Um, that's what it says on the website. Um, I don't know if they give the IBUs on the just a government warning, but it is 11%. They don't get so I guess I go with 60 IBUs because that's what it is on the uh, is uh, is on the website. So uh, comes in a nice. Uh, now you need his fingernails. Nice foil uh, wrapper there. Let me see if I can get it off. Foil doesn't come off too easy, but. There we go, let's get it poured. There's sort of a glug there, but not what I was not what I was expecting. I think I'll stop right there with the 11% ABV. I'm definitely not gonna finish the whole thing now. Um, yeah, we got a yeah, dark brown. I can see some ruby around it, almost black. Uh, just looking towards the sun here. I'm surprised I remember what it's called. It's been cloudy and gray and dreary for so long that it's really nice. And uh, like I said, in the mid 40s, so other than being a little breezy, but the breeze out of the south, so um, not too bad. It's right in my face, but uh, good looking, good looking stout. So let's get a nose on it. Okay, yeah, that's sweet. Um, Oaky, definitely getting that from the barrels. Uh, just a hint of vanilla. Um, maybe a little licorice. Um, just a hint of the bourbon. Um, uh, I'm not sure what percentage of this was aged in bourbon barrels, but there's only a hint of the bourbon. Uh, there's, a, there's a buttload of chocolate in there, though, and uh, definitely some coffee. Although the coffee for being a Java Stout... Um, is not as strong as I expected either on the nose, um, but there's vanilla. That's that's sweet bourbon, uh, light sweet bourbon uh, smell. Um, almost a little bit of uh, almost like soy sauce in there, but um, not really getting any hops for 60 IBUs. But let's get a taste and uh, see what we got. Oh wow, yeah, that now that really begins. It starts off sweet. Um, de definitely get the vanilla and the chocolate right in the beginning. Um, towards the middle there, you kind of get a hint of that bourbon, but um, finishes with a nice dose of um, slightly bitter coffee finish there. Um, I am getting, I think, probably some hops. There's a nice little uh, kind of uh, 
splash of uh, citrus or fruit or something right there in the middle there in the beginning a little bit of sweetness but um, yeah I'm getting yeah almost the, the chocolates almost like uh, like chocolate syrup like that Hershey's chocolate syrup um, really sweet really thick um, the coffee's bit a bit acidic and bitter but um, that counteracts that sweetness very nicely um, a lot of vanilla in here from you know from the barrels and uh, you can tell it's uh, it was a good bourbon but um, it's still the bourbon notes are uh, are pretty light um, they're there they're noticeable they blend in nicely but um, they're not uh, they're not to overtaken or anything not like some uh, bourbon barrel age things but um, it's got a nice uh, medium uh, medium to medium full uh, yeah I say medium full bodied uh, mouthfeel really it's silky smooth just goes down really nicely um, medium to, to low carbonation there but uh, really lot really low uh, low carbonation on this it makes it uh, really sippable and uh, really smooth and, and creamy going down so uh, let me get a uh, get a cap in this bottle I'll sit and sip on this a while I know in this uh, this weather it's not going to uh, not going to warm up very much but I'll sip on it a while and I'll come back in a while with the final thoughts and great okay I'm back it's only been 20 minutes or so as expected this did not warm up very much in the 40 degree you know slightly plus 40 degree weather we got um, <clears throat> some some are saying tomorrow we might have a nice day close to 50 maybe like 49 degrees or something but uh, of course then then the cold comes back it's gonna be you know highs in the 20s again but you know that's late December Christmas Day and in, in the Midwest um, January still hasn't come but so far this winter's not nearly been as as bad as um, as last winter was last winter was hellacious and I've, I've not had to shovel any snow this year what uh, little bit we've got has uh, has melted away or disappeared anyway but uh, yeah overall this is a darn good beer um, I'm not really getting the 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 alcohol on this 11% ABV you think you'd feel something uh, you know it's a little bit I think it may be maybe a little bit um, adding to that uh, that bitterness along with the coffee on the finish uh, and you get a little bit of warmth as it goes down and hits your stomach but uh, other than that um, you know this could be dangerously drinkable but um, there is so much going on here it's a really sippable beer which is the way I'm going to finish this um, this is a really nice um, stellar uh, coffee imperial stout um, be worth your time to find it if you could uh, uh, you know it's it's limited edition is seasonal like that uh, 500 BC um, but it's brewed by Firestone Walker so it's darn good you know you know it's got to be um, so yeah it's it's stellar um, like I said it's predominantly um, I'm not getting the for a Java stout coffee stout uh, I'm not getting the coffee I was expecting but it's still nice um, the coffee is a nice nice finish on it um, it's primarily the chocolate and the vanilla with just a hint of that licorice in there um, light bourbon notes too for being uh, aged in bourbon barrels but um, what's there blends nicely with all the other flavors it's a well blended beer um, really well blended beer um, nothing nothing overtakes anything else uh, just a good solid beer so I'm gonna give the Humboldt Brewing Zant Black Xantus Imperial Stout I'm definitely gonna go uh, pick up another bottle bottle of this and uh, you know stick it back in the cellar let it age a bit um, no telling when we'll be able to get it again but uh, because stuff is so iffy around here here in the small town Midwest but uh, 
damn good beer, so I'm going to give uh, the Black Santas. It's going to get a good solid um, 9.5 out of 10 from me. Um, uh, not a perfect beer, but uh, damn close. Um, it might be like a 9.7 or 9.8 if I if I broke my ratings down that far, but I don't. So and I don't round up. So um, 9.5 out of 10. So till next time, everybody. Cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers.